A live look at what's going to be a busy place over the next week. Charlotte Douglas Airport, about 30,000 people expected daily passing through the week of Thanksgiving, much more than their typical day. And of course, the charging stations will be full and uh, something that you'll definitely be looking for with all the tablets and devices that you have. Uh, um, have you plugged your phone in at the airport? I have done that before, and but they um, out quickly. Yeah, we all need to realize though, mm. plugging in though could actually open up your bank account and everything else that's personal on your phone to scammers. It's something I never thought about. Channel 9's Blaine Tollison explains what's happening here and how to protect yourself. Charging your phone at the airport? No big deal, right? But as millions fly for Thanksgiving this week, they may be giving up some private data. And as Charlotte Douglas tries to combat this problem, hackers are finding ways to do it with this in ways you may not know about. At the airport, many people like Antonio Rojas are not thinking about who's out there wanting to hack your phone. Not at all. Just think about my family, you know, going off to uh, traveling. I guess I never think about hackers at the airport, but they might be closer than you think. They could be, you know, 10 feet from you. They could be 50 feet from you. Ryan Houseneck, who has a career in testing cybersecurity, says something called juice jacking is serious. Hackers can use a USB charging cable to steal your phone's data or to install malware over Bluetooth. They're meant to be inconspicuous, so they look like a regular any cable you buy from Apple or Samsung or whoever your phone's from. Um, so just looking at a cable, you're probably not going to be able to identify that this is this is malicious. Charlotte Douglas hasn't reported any issues yet, but officials say they're checking all of their charging stations and looking for cables and adapters left behind. This message will also be posted on video boards advising you to only use your charging cable, install your phone's latest update, and disable your phone's ability to transfer data. House Next says it still might not be enough. The best course of option is to just not use cables that aren't yours. And in addition, be careful of what you're plugging into. There are a number of ways to keep hackers out when you charge your phone. Of course, the easy way would be to just not charge your phone, but you need it at the airport. You can carry things like portable battery packs, and you could keep these charged, and they only cost about 10 to $20 on the cheap end. Back to you. Interesting. In addition to what Blaine mentioned there, Charlotte Douglas Airport says you can buy charge-only cables and purchase software that would block any data transfer.